अंदर ही बैठना पड़ेगा यहाँ तो कुछ दिखता ही नहीं अभी आवाज आए अंदर ले अंदर छोड़ो ये उठा लो सब तक Recording in progress. Om Shanti and good morning to you, Didi. And a very good afternoon and even evening to some of y'all uh, for tuning in, because you all are tuning in. I know from various parts of Asia and Australia as well. So my name is Dina Ben, and I'm from Singapore, sunny Singapore. And uh, very thankful that we have Didi with us here today. Didi looks very comfortable. 
Um, I suppose she's after her walk. <laughs> so thank you for joining us this morning after a little break of a few weeks. Now, of course, Didi is no stranger to us. She doesn't need any introduction, but for the benefit of those who are Baba's new babies or, you know, joining us for the first time, Didi, Dr. Nirmala is our uh, regional coordinator of the Asia Pacific and Australia centers. And she is currently the joint administrative head of the Brahmakumari's World Spiritual University. But we all know underneath all these titles is a very honest and practical soul. And Didi's advice is always based on truth and is always relevant to the current situation or the circumstance. And so it brings me to today's topic, also very relevant and current. And the topic is maintaining self-respect during the current times. So before Didi begins, um, we are keeping the chat box open. So for those who have questions that you want answered, if time permits, of course, please uh, post your questions in the chat. You can um, direct them to me, okay? So you can put in a direct message to me and I will read them after Didi's class. So today, Singapore Centre has actually put together a list of questions as well, which uh, Didi will be answering in a while. So Didi, um, you're all comfortable there? We are all eagerly awaiting your jewels of wisdom regarding this topic. So thank you once again, Didi, and over to you. Om Shante. Can you hear me properly? Yes, very okay. clear. Very That's clear. good. That's good. So today the topic is maintaining self-respect in the present time. The reasons for lack of self-respect is bad company, bullying parents or classmates, teachers, defamed or disrespected, not full faith in Baba as bestower, comparing with others, disobeying Srimad, Christian upbringing, where they say everyone is born of sin and because of our sins, Christ had to suffer. The solution is to remind ourselves of Baba's personal blessing. If somebody hasn't got personal blessing, at least all are getting every day Baba's blessings in Morley. Realizing the extent to which Bab Dada has hope and faith in each of us. Checking my actions and thoughts, whether they are according to Srimad. Play the game. Sometimes we used to play the game, six or seven Brahmins sitting together, knowing each one will give speciality of each other. So if there are seven of them, you will get seven speciality. Performing good karma, charitable karma, and getting positive feedback. Now the questions I think I will ask my, yeah, myself and answer. 
I am the one BK out of thousands. Does Baba notice me? How can I be special to him? How can I feel that Baba is looking and speaking to me personally? Though Baba has hundreds of thousands of children, Baba, who is a knowledgeful, knows everybody and he has adopted all of us. Knowing our speciality, it is up to each one to accept Baba's version. So when he is giving Murli, try to feel he is addressing to me. As known, some Brahmins during a Vyakta meeting, even just BOL, they sit in the hall and they feel as if they are sitting in front of Baba and they experience as if Baba is looking at them and talking to them, giving drishti to them. Second question is, I am online baby. Although I accept that drama is accurate, from time to time, Thoughts of unworthiness come into my mind as to why I will never have the fortune of meeting a Vyakt Baba in Sakar or even the Dadis every cycle. How can I get out of this type of thinking? We are knowledgeful souls. So we have to be stable on drama. Whatever is happening in drama, there is benefit. Baba says, those who came early in 1936, some of them left Gyan. You have come late but you have chance to be last so far so fast. So don't worry. Consider yourself to be fortunate. At least you know Baba and you are earlier than the souls who will come last, that is, in the end, they will have realization that God has come. So you are luckier than many others. Next question is, COVID has changed the face of service. And it has benefited those who are tech savvy. As I'm not proficient, I am concentrating on Mansa Seva, but feel that I'm not very serviceable now as I cannot do the things I used to do for the center. How can I maintain my self-worth while seeing so many capable BKs around me? Different souls have different 
role in the drama. And remain positive that you have some role in drama. You can do whatever seva you can do. If not through internet, you can do through body, mind, wealth, etc. And in the end, there will be your dharana, your face and features that will reveal Baba. So it may be that hundreds may be listening to the Zoom call, but there may be many more who will be attracted through your face, features, and activity. Next is in the current times, I find that souls are very sensitive. Sometimes I need to put something right and may give sorrow without intending to. And if other soul has low self-respect and takes sorrow from what I said or what I did, Am I then responsible? Whilst you are giving them direction, see that you are soul conscious and whatever direction you are giving, is not based on body consciousness or ego of your position. Naturally, it is possible to hurt someone. So Baba says, maintain balance of love and law, sweetness and strictness, when one is in a position because the job has to be done accurately and unless you are lawful and strict, job may not be done. Kula rakke jana. As time comes to a close, and so many accounts still to be settled. It is difficult to have the self-respect that I will become Lakshmi or Narayan. How can I maintain the faith and intoxication of being the one of the 808 while I'm battling with my sanskars and karma? Is there any easy method for this? If you are battling with old sanskar, you must have faith that victory is my birthright. I will be victorious victorious over Maya and keep fighting with Maya by remembering Baba, receive powers, be Master Almighty Authority, pay attention that you don't act or speak under Maya's influence. Let Maya just 
influence your mind but not words and actions next question i try my best to keep everyone content but sometimes i feel that i can't make everybody happy what should i do when others are not content with me is there a danger of being a people pleaser when i try too hard what stage should i have then i remember once avyak bab dada told one week that even bab dada cannot please please everyone so as long as you are following shrimat have aim to please bab dada and yourself if you are so conscious and following shrimat it's not your vikarma and your actions will be right yes then your conscience will not bite you how have baba and the dadis always been able to strengthen the power of gathering dadis did not create followers but instead made everyone worthy what does dd do that enable you to make the gathering strong in their own self respect that is had strong foundation of gyan and yoga there was spiritual love and respect for each other aim was to work for baba reveal bap dada and give everyone respect accept as they are and have good wishes to uplift them so what we need to do is or i am doing is make their foundation of gyan and yoga strong because people are very stable once their sto- foundation is strong maya will come in variety ways to shake them but if their foundation is right they will be right and also give them respect whatever they are doing they are doing according to their capacity if they come with their mistake i still love them and they feel accepted and respected so love is the basis of respect and once people get love they will work together next question is baba often says that when we see the defects of other it actually proves that we ourselves have that defect 
Can Didi explain this with practical example? Baba is telling us, we are holy swans. Don't see others' weakness. See their virtues. Because even if somebody may have 90 weakness, if they have 10 virtues, use their virtues pick up their virtues and use their virtues for Baba's service. And you will find that it becomes easy for you to have that respect. Next, in, in the current scenarios, most of us have to work more than we used to work before COVID. As many companies have downsized their staff, if we say we don't want to do extra work, there is a danger of losing job. How can I maintain self-respect when I feel that my employers are taking advantage of me? We don't get paid for extra work. But many of our colleagues accept this situation and keep on working. Take those keep on working are really sensible because many people have lost their job. If you are fussy or complaining, you may lose your job. And as you are mentioning, they are downsizing, many businesses have shut. So, situation is such, we have to be flexible and keep on working with positivity, love, and singing the song, Va Mama, Va My Fortune. Warming. Next is in order to accept and imbibe the titles of self-respect that Baba has given. Unshakable faith in Baba and Rama are needed for the new ones who haven't had chance to meet Baba. How do we develop that faith? According to drama, what we have seen that those who have never met Mama and Baba, they do have deep respect for Mama Baba, have deep love for Mama Baba, faith in Mama Baba. So those who haven't met Avyakta Baba, doesn't matter. 
Baba is giving them that experience. So, just as whatever sustenance Mama Baba gave to senior dadis, they gave it to us. And now, senior sisters will have to give new ones that experience and nowadays experience of love from Baba and family can bring that faith in the new ones also. Next is, how do we develop respect for souls who are not making effort to remove their vices? What are the elevated thoughts that can help us respect all souls, irrespective of the part they are playing? just as Baba has accepted us as we were. When we came to Gyan, we had many weaknesses and vices. And still, Baba has to remind us every day, you are a soul, you are a soul, you are a soul. And still he loves us and tries to uplift us. Similarly, we are world benefactor souls. We have to have aim to uplift them with our good wishes, pure feeling, and powerful vibration. Because the last ones will not have so much power to purify them. So Baba says, you have to give them that power. So give them that power and one day they might get uplifted. Next question, will you read that question, sister? Sure, Didi. So this is a, a, a slightly personal question because um, we want to know, can, can Didi share the source of her self-respect from the beginning up to now? Please share a situation when you felt that others did not appreciate you in some situation. How did you stabilize yourself then and what was the outcome? Uh, I was really fortunate that I was very much respected in my Lokic family because I was uh, good student, all-rounder, helping in household duties, etc. Alokik Bhat Dada also, Brahma Baba, loved and respected me, as you might have heard in many murlis, that Baba was, has praised me in Sakar Murli. And Avek Bab Dada has also praised me a lot at different times. I don't expect any human beings to respect me. 
because human beings they have their own judgment power ego opinion etc so let them speak anything baba says don't listen evil so i don't listen evil and maintain good wishes for them lovely didi do you want me to read the other questions for you yeah okay so the next question when i have a position of responsibility and someone doesn't do what i ask them should i remain silent and hope my yoga will improve matters or should i say something if i say something even with a lot of good wishes they might resent me and cooperate even less however if i don't address their disrespect others might think i am passive and lack authority so please advise baba always says that when you are in the position of authority speak to your staff or juniors correct them sweetly and lovefully maintain spiritual love don't be passive as in previous question i mentioned maintain the balance of love and law sweetness and strictness they may be hurt it's all right but i have to do my duty properly okay thank you so the next question what are the subtle forms of ego how can we realize our own arrogance to realize our own arrogance i have to be honest introvert and introspect because it's not easy to realize yourself so subtle forms of ego or arrogance is first superiority complex the person thinks is great disrespect for others and insults others he will speak roughly and there may be facade something inside something outside he may be sarcastic self centered all the time talking i i i my family i etc sensitive authoritative bossy critical of others so naturally juniors will be afraid of him okay last question yes nowadays there are many more cases of mental health issues confusion about gender suicidal thoughts and even substance abuse are they all connected with low self esteem or is it a question of settling karma if self respect is increased can their situations be fully reversed om shanti mental issues can be due to low self respect but it can be chemical changes in our brain it can be hereditary 
one of the sides from the parents, either mother's side, parents, somebody might be having already mental health issue. Now, meditation can help to some extent. Medicine also can help to the some extent. But what I have found is people who have mental issue don't accept that they have any mental issue. And so they discontinue medicine and they have relapsed. So I haven't seen anybody having completely reversed and becoming completely normal for good. They may appear good for a while, but then relapse as soon as there are situation or as soon as there is discontinuation of the medicine. Hmm. So it's always good to continue with medication. Meditation and medication, both. That's right. That's right. Okay. Thank you so much, Didi. So we do have a few more questions. Yes. Okay. So let me just dive straight into them. Um. So there is a question. I have been doing my role as a psychiatrist in a place where I live, though I am not a psychiatrist by profession. This prevents me revealing myself fully in gatherings. Your suggestions to continue this service, please. If she is not psychiatrist or trained, he should not fake to be psychiatrist. It's better he does the course in counseling and counsel other people. Because I know many Brahmins have done a short course and they are counseling other people. So that he can do. Okay, thank you. Another question. Om Shanti Didi. Didi, in this current situation, I feel like surrendering to a center. But my Lokic parents are not in Gyan and they are against the Srimad that I'm following. What is your advice on this? It's a personal question. It needs to address personally because whether the person is educated or not, self-sufficient or not, which country they are from, and whether they can support themselves or not, whether they can face opposition, from parents, because some parents are really nasty. They come and harass the teachers why you have allowed her to surrender. So it depends on many other things. So that person will have to take personal advice either from center instrument or from me. Okay, so to that soul, you know what to do. Okay, next question. If anyone doesn't like the way I speak, how should I create my self-respect towards them? <laughs> First, you should see whether there is something wrong in the way you are speaking. And 
if you are speaking roughly, loudly, disrespectfully, you have to change. And if you change, people will change their opinion and respect you. So Baba says, my change will bring change in others of the world. So I had to have aim to change myself. Okay, lovely. Thank you. So another question has come up. Um, <clears throat> Baba said recently, it is not that when Baba speaks the Murli here, that Paramdam would be empty. Didi, what is your thought about it? Does it mean that when Baba comes through Dadi, at the same time, he is also in Paramdam? Yeah, possible. Because Baba can be inspiring Dadi, coming and going, mm. not staying all the time, coming and going. And Dadi may be touched by Baba's inspiration. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, nice. Okay, another question. How to maintain self-respect after making mistakes in Brahmin life because of the guilty feelings? First, when you make mistake, write to Bab Dada, put letter in Baba's box or Maduma, and finish your guilty feeling. Once you finish your guilty feeling and have decision that I'm not going to make mistake again, then naturally you will have your self-respect. Mm. Yep. Okay, so another question. We're all effort makers. We're not perfect yet. So if other souls, be it non-BKs or especially BKs, if they do something or say something to irritate me, is it wrong to rebut them with a long lecture or can I just simply ignore that person? How do we maintain the self-respect in these challenging situations? Ignore that person hmm. and not react because if you react, it's your karma. If you remain silent, they will realize their own mistake. So you maintain your respect on the basis of Baba's opinion and not human opinion. Because so far we were relying on human opinion. Now it's time to rely on Baba's opinion. Thank you, Didi. Um, it's five minutes to the end. Can I ask questions or would you like to? One more question and then we will have meditation. Okay. So last question. Okay. The lucky question. Didi, when we are hospitalized, can we eat hospital food? Of course, food. vegetarian, yes. Vegetarians, uh, no onion, no garlic, no egg. It Can depends we... on how much facility you have. If your log cakes are gyani and are happy to cook for you and bring it to the hospital, well and good. Otherwise, take fruits and cereals in the morning 
and take one meal in the hospital. But if some Brahman friends are happy to bring food, that's much better. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much, Didi. I hope um, most of the questions have been answered. If there are questions still not yet answered, my sincere apologies. Perhaps they can write directly. Okay, Didi. Okay, so, we'll so let's have a few minutes meditation. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. Today, I am at health resort. Wow. So I don't have full facilities here. And my photo is not so clear. No problem. Lighting is not so much. Okay. मुझे तुमने दादा बहुत कुछ दिया है मुझे तुमने दादा बहुत कुछ दिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है मुझे तुमने दादा बहुत कुछ दिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है ना मिलती अगर दी हुई दात तेरी तो क्या थी जमाने में औकात मेरी तुम ही ने तो जीने के काबिल किया है तेरा शुक्रिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है मुझे तुमने दादा बहुत कुछ दिया मुझे है सहारा तेरी बंदगी का है जिस पर गुजारा मेरी जिंदगी का मिला मुझे को जो कुछ तुम्ही से मिला है तेरा शुक्रिया है तेरा शुक्रिया है मुझे तुमने दादा बहुत कुछ दिया है किया कुछ ना मैंने थैंक यू डीडी हैव अ ग्रेट ओम शांति